All right, the next module we're going to work on is the uh, power and switch module. Uh, no, that's the LED. Okay, the power and switch module right here. Okay, we already took care of our power supply, and uh, now we're going to hook up all our All right, so you need to trim this down, uh, the trigger switch. Just depress it and then clip it straight with the edge. All right, so I got a little bit shorter, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, if you're if you're building it with the electronics, you need to snip off that little bubble there. Make sure you can hear it click when you pull the trigger. I can hear the switch. All right, so we're going to put that in with hot glue. Do not use super glue on this. The fumes will get inside, and it will, I guarantee it will take up the switch. All right, so we're only going to use hot glue here. sure you don't stop the switch from being actuated too that hot glue back there needs to make sure it doesn't have too much now we'll put our trigger in you gotta load that switch a little bit okay now we're only going to use the two rear uh, terminals on this Okay, you can see by the schematic that you want to go from the rear of the trigger switch to, as you see it, from the back of the switch, like here, to the second terminal, right there, which is right here. So you got to realize you're going to be turning this this way, and putting it on there like that. So this wire only really has to be about that long right there. So we're going to go ahead and cut it a little bit long, just, you know, so you can have room to play. And, all right, we'll take one of our uh, male connectors, and we'll connect the, uh, well, tin the wires. All right, we'll take the positive wire, and we'll go to the center of this switch. Try not to keep the heat on there too long. Just as long as you need. There, that's good. Now this, uh, the black one here is going to be the common ground. We're going to bring all the grounds together right there. Alright, so let's see our next connection is going to... I'll right, take two more of our male connectors. to make a female connector for the other side. So you want two pieces of wire about four inches long. Throughout my tutorials, when you're making these female connectors, orient them like this in the alligator clip, and then uh, make sure your positive is on the left and the negative is on the right. Drink.
All right, so the hot one is going to go to that terminal also. The top terminal labeled 10 and the terminal labeled 2 will receive the positive leads from both a male and a female connector. Yeah, this is the ground that's... This is the, going to be one of the common ground, so I need to trim this back a lot further. All the ground wires will be terminated at one point, the negative lead from the battery connector. Okay. Go ahead and solder all these grounds together. And now I'll trim off the crap here I don't need. Alright. And go ahead and solder that there. Alright, now we stripped and tinned that short wire that goes to the center terminal on the trigger switch to terminal one on the rotary switch. And we're soldering that in place. And let's go ahead and plug everything up. So we can bench test it here. Okay. These are the male connectors. So they will go to the light end in the first position. Oh, that's blue. That's supposed to be blue. Okay. And there's the red uh, in the kill position. There's the red front and back. Okay, so we know that the light module is correct. And let's go ahead and mark this one here so we'll know red goes to red. Now let's test our sound module. Okay, so there's, there's the stun. try the kill setting there it is now I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue in here to secure everything up all right and then after we flip this around and put that in place Make sure that there's nothing getting hung up. These wires in front of the switch. Otherwise you won't be able to get it closed all the way. There you go. There you go. And secure that with a screw. They come with the kit. And we'll put some here on this to make sure that these don't come loose. That's all there is to that. That's the switch and power module. Ooh, that's still hot. <laughs> so this is your finished uh, switch module. So I, I wrapped a little heat shrink around all those ground terminals and I uh, sealed that off to make sure it doesn't ever short out on anything. And then you got all the wires that come out the back there. All right, we're going to do the LED module next and then it'll be done. It will at the end of that video, I'll cover how to incorporate it all into the gun.